Hello. It's the Saturday wrap. The Saturday wrap for Saturday the 7th of October 2023. Um, back in bed was back doing it on the Friday night beforehand. Anyway. So if you haven't seen this before, this is me going back over the week that was and complaining about things. Tech things, beer things, price things, thing things. Anyway, there are a couple of standards that I put in at the beginning. Uh, the first one being a word or phrase of the week. Now, there are some people who actually watch this and I found out there's more than three people. Um, and a young colleague, and I say young because everyone's younger than me nowadays, um, asked me to mention this. And the word or phrase is, and it's a phrase, gargoyle technology. So if you have a gargoyle and you use it to remove water, say from a guttering or a patio or such like, that's gargoyle technology. The only thing is there's a no turbine in there, so it cannot generate electricity when it rains. So that is the next step for gargoyle technology. A gargoyle with a turbine that generates electricity. Yeah. <laughs> I have, of course, completely lost it. It's a good idea, and I like it. And it'll save... Well, it'll save Lantris, and if nowhere else, to be perfectly honest. Moving on to App of the Week. Or apps, and such like. Well, first of all, this is being recorded on macOS Sonoma. So yeah, I've done the upgrade and they've moved things around like the voice isolation. And it's not always clear where they should be. However, the Googles, the DuckDuckGoes, the Bings, they helped. Overall, quite a fit and finish update. Oh yeah, there is one other operating system as well. Actually, there's two. Windows 11, upgraded to that this week, and Android 14. And they're all fit and finish updates, although Windows have just moved things around, I think in a lot of cases, for the sake of it. Um, but at least you get tabs on Notepad and tabs on Terminal, which I like. Anyway, so the software of the week is macOS Sonoma and Android 14. They just go on. I haven't had any problems. Well, itty bitty problems, but that's mainly because not all the apps have been updated. I'm thinking of the Android platform, um, but even then they're fairly stable. So, you know, could be a lot worse. Uh, right, um, a thing of the week. Okay, so where exactly did September go? Now, I can remember the end of the month. The end of the month was, let's all go to Hereford and drink lots of beer. But September, it just kind of went. I know things were, it's all going to be at the end of the month, but I can't remember much about it at all, except that there was an Indian summer and then it just disappeared again. You know, I have a feeling, well, actually, I don't. I know that it'll be, ooh, Halloween, and then Bonfire Night, and then Black Friday, because that's the thing nowadays, Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, and then January and February. But what can you do? So, September, you just disappeared, and I don't know where you went at all. Anyway, Song of the Week. And this is uh, going back to the booster gram ball. And Curry, he kind of sometimes plays the same track two or three weeks going, and they just become your wigs. This is, and I had to look it up, the Charles Street Sound Company. Money in a bag. And that was from Booster Gram Ball number nine. Uh, you can get it on your podcast app. Um, and number 10 is out. So I will be listening to that tomorrow morning on the Fountain app and hopefully getting a couple of Satoshis for it as well. Satoshis, 100 millionth 
of Bitcoin, which currently is, I think, about $27,500 to the Bitcoin. So, yeah, things right. Okay, the week that was. Uh, I don't know if you spotted last week when I did the Saturday wrap live from Gloucester and Keys Premier Inn. Forgot the lower third. You know, things like that. Anyway, started out. Uh, where did I start out? Oh, yeah, Costa Coffee with the £7.55 bacon roll and coffee. And then in the Lord High Constable of England on the Salopium like that darwin's origin and tried out five guys okay yes they are expensive um but here's the thing you only need the small chips because they do put an extra scoop in and it's a large extra scoop and you can have up to 15 toppings on your burger i think i had about four i don't know if i would have yeah, i don't think you could have get 15 on there the thing is it needs to be wider to get all those things on and it just makes it tall but i enjoyed it and i thought it was good um, and i had a bottle of water which is quite unlike me and then off to the pelican which filled up with tons and tons of rugby fans and they opened the back bar and even with all that in the wi-fi worked fine and then the rugby fans went and i kept on drinking cans of fine ale really good oh i had a brown ale from daya which according to reddit is not that uncommon but it was a new thing for me love the pelican go to gloucester find the cathedral you can't beat the pelican oh yeah also had filled rolls right um sunday sunday morning um premium in all you can eat breakfast forgot about the eggs and then went back to the lord high constable of england and started boosting with my satoshis um i can't remember who i did i think it might have been in curry or not as the case may be um and then oh, across to the gloucester brewery warehouse number four for the last afternoon of october first uh, only the Udinger was off and they have plenty of other ales and they had a guy or had two guys one with a telecaster one with an acoustic playing songs uh, the iPad was doing the bass and the drums and the organ, and I was thinking, this is a bit loud. There's a sign of age. There's definitely a sign of age. Also, I was thinking I would mix this slightly differently. The Telecaster was fine, but the vocals and the rhythm, uh, a bit far back in the mix. And uh, he had a Stratocaster there, but I left before he got the Strat out. It's good to see live bands, even if... Um, ipad technology is used <laughs> oh there you go um monday returned home went to aldi bought compost went to tesco's there is a world shortage not only of non-dairy creamer but of saline solution which i use with my contacts finally got some in um boots in newport on tuesday but can't get anything anywhere uh, I have a feeling it's the same thing. But what can you do? Planted more summer onion sets. Really good. Used the compost this time. I think I did. Uh, yeah, I did some on Wednesday as well. Because Wednesday was a bit of a laser round and I didn't go anywhere and I should. However, jumping back to Tuesday. Does it mention Tuesday here? Oh, yeah. Yeah missed a bit yeah monday also windows 11 update from 10 on the dell mac os sonoma on the macbook a and as soon as i updated bartender popped up and said you need an update to work with this can't over the money however i love bartender you need bartender bartender is great so um it was only eight quid odd so paid that up straight away uh what else tuesday newport yeah it was nice and gentle and such like and i was um where was i sitting oh yeah tiny rebel and up pops uh your air tag is running low you need a new battery 
Thankfully, Amazon ordered from Tiny Rebel, came the next day, popped it in. It was all fine. i got to scroll down. I've written a lot of stuff to it. Um, oh, yeah. Also, Wednesday, uh, moving on, iOS 17.03. Um, it makes it slightly less warm, your phone. Also, security patches. So even if you haven't got an iPhone 15, put it on there like the wind. Thursday morning, Android 14. Takes ages. And the optimizing bit, if you don't keep an eye on it, it'll restart, which is annoying. Came home on Thursday night from uh, Britannia Rescue. And this is the first sign of Christmas, really. Oh, your renewal is due on the 1st of November. So that comes first. Then you get the Mouth and Foot Artist Christmas cards. And then it's downhill all the way. So there you go. Uh, yeah, Christmas and whatever. Also, the first cherry tomatoes from the garden. I know they're late. They should have been there. <laughs> yeah. Um, how can I put it? The end of August. Um, but I had to restart and all that. And the weather in the summer was nothing to write home about, to be perfectly honest. And, of course, Friday, the whole world is going mad about bedbugs. Especially French bedbugs, which jump on your suitcase and um, get into the UK. Oh yeah, been a lot of politics this week as well, especially around trains. Anyway, how are we looking? We're looking good. Tomorrow, Tiny Rebel, Newport, Oktoberfest. If they have any beers left, because on Tuesday they didn't have any Oktoberfest beers and a hog roast. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be warm, apparently. Indian October. Although they have wound it back a little bit for Wales. We're only going to manage about 19 and a bit of sun in the afternoon. Low 20 on Sunday. So not a bad start despite the fact Christmas and all that. So uh, if you have any comments, you know where I am. Whatever you see this on, just bring me back. And thank you uh, very much if I can find the bye-bye-bye button. Bye-bye-bye.